Oh, please be careful, lest the leaves shall break and the texts will disappear in between the darkness. These days, no one knows me. Long ago in Orissa, I was a known face, a known voice. My art was my identity. My stylus was my identity. I have lost it now. It was so dear to me. With it, I have etched countless texts on the palm leaves. My aching back and tired eyes in the dimly lit room were my only companions. It was there that I endlessly copied manuscripts. Corona is my name. Ah. Don't confuse me with Karna in Mahabharata. I am Karna, or as you would better understand in English, a scribe. Lost are the days when I was invited by kings, patrons and admirers of art to copy the manuscripts. Yet, there is hope for me in this age, when I am no longer alive or relevant, as some people would assume. My works have found enormous possibilities to be preserved through transcription and digitization, all thanks to the computer. Who could think of all this during my times? I see huge hope and promise in the creation of a digital niche where I will come alive once again but this time in codes and binaries. The center for translation and digital humanities is not alone in this dream. It has friends who could fathom the potential of keeping the traditional systems of knowledge alive through the intervention of digital humanities. Let us see how. India has a lot of history, textual history and cultural history and so has Orissa. And it will be very important that the texts of this region are digitized, uh, keeping in the principles of digital humanities and made available to the posterity. Uh, this will also make sure the texts are preserved and also handed down to uh, the future generations uh, in a way which they can understand and appreciate. Texts are a very important uh, aspect of uh, any area's culture uh, and knowledge traditions. Therefore, uh, any effort to digitally preserve them and propagate them is certainly welcome. I remember coming to this university some years back and uh, highlighting the importance of creating such departments here. And I'm happy that this has uh, uh, taken roots in this area and uh, people are actively engaged in uh, digitizing texts and as an example they have started doing Sarala Mahabharata which is a, a very important historical text of this region and I'm very happy that I'm able to help uh, 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 in this project here so thank you very much. Center of this type where uh, old manuscripts can be preserved, processed, digitized and utilized for the betterment of the community, preservation of the history, culture and heritage. This kind of institute was our center was of utmost need and it was a long due for a state like Odisha. As you all know that Odisha has a large number of manuscripts scattered across the state in different geographical locations and not since the effort has been made so far to collect them properly, document them, index them and make them available for the global readership. I find that this particular institute can make a huge impact in the socio-academic frame of the state because these manuscripts contain huge amount of knowledge, indigenous knowledge of the societies which are still necessary, still useful for the modern people, 
modern generation of scholars. It needs a collaborative effort from scholars coming from various domains of our knowledge, particularly people coming from the background of literature, linguistics, computer science, and other people who are experts in manuscript reading, text analysis. They should come together and join hands so that <coughs> all those resources are made available and the center becomes globally visible. And I think that the project center is now in the apt hand who can make a global institute having a long lasting impact in overall academic and cultural growth of the language and its people. Thank you. I wonder how the scribes who assiduously copied the Sarala Mahabharata must have rejoiced in bliss if they saw a capacity building workshop in Ravenshaw. Magnifying glasses and curious looking eyes surrounding my beloved Pothis is a beautiful sight to behold. It, it feels like being treated of a malady and being saved from death, the death of ignorance. Transcribers or the new age scribes are giving my works a new lease of life. What else can a poor coroner ask? What again makes me ecstatic is that my works will be translated into English. My works will be read by people beyond Odisha and maybe beyond Bharatavarsha. What more can one ask for? What more can this corona ask for? <laughs>